Um, so today I am starting my vlog for the April a thon readathon. Um, as usual, I will be vlogging my progress this week as I always do for readathons. I am currently at home um, for people who actually pay attention to where I am um, because it's Easter today. I've been here since like Friday and I'm going home or back to school tomorrow, but I actually have quite a bit of time before like the Easter festivities start because my family's not like really big on the holidays so we just kind of get together for dinner but it is currently 11 15 and we're not going out until like 2 30 so i have a little bit of time i only brought one book home with me because i didn't think i was gonna get to read a lot plus i had to finish radio silence which i did but um i only have one book here for the readathon that is Call Me By Your Name by Andre Asman. I really hope I like this because if I don't, I have nothing else to read. But I'm going to be at least starting, if not finishing, this today. It's a really short one, so honestly, if I just started reading, I'd probably finish it. But if not, I'll definitely get this done by tomorrow. And I'll keep you updated, especially because this seems to be a book that a lot of people are curious as to what I'm gonna think. So I'm happy I'm vlogging this. So. Also, if I'm in this sweatshirt for literally the entire vlog, I do have a shirt on underneath. This sweatshirt is just the comfiest thing I own. And I haven't taken it off since I got it. <laughs> if you're like, he has been wearing the same sweatshirt for like two weeks. Yeah, I have. <laughs> Alright, so it is now like 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I've obviously gotten ready for Easter. Um, I read <laughs> 170 pages of Call Me By Your Name, and let me just say I'm really, really confused <laughs> by this main narrator, and I'm also a little bit scarred for life after that peach scene. So, I'll definitely be finishing this either tonight when I get back or tomorrow, though. Running and jumping all over. Mm. Hello! They're nice new sandals <laughs> for Okay, so we got back from Easter a little bit ago. I think the only clip I'm gonna have is of me playing with the dog, but I'm not gonna read right now. I'm gonna take a shower. I have such a bad wine headache and I'm exhausted. So I'm gonna shower and see how I feel after that and see if I want to finish that book or not. Knowing me, it's probably gonna be not, but we're gonna give me the opportunity to read it. Good morning everyone. So I think the last time I left you guys was last night and I said I was gonna read. Didn't read. Did anyone think I was gonna read? I didn't think I was gonna read. <laughs> I am heading back to school today, hopefully in like an hour or two, but before I do that I'm going to finish. Call me by your name. Um, but yeah, it's April 2nd, which I realized the readathon didn't actually start yesterday, so it's today. But um, I woke up this morning, April 2nd, and can you guys even see what it's doing out there? It's fucking snowing. It is freaking snowing. I hate, I hate living in Massachusetts. I just want it to be warm. And I'll hopefully update you guys in a hot sec with my thoughts on the book. Okay, so it's literally only been a second. I read two pages and I am literally so confused. By this goddamn book. I like I I I don't understand how they made a movie out of this. It is I just They're watching each other poop. Like he literally like one of the guys like massages his stomach, the other guy's stomach, so he poops. I'm so confused by this book. Oh my god. Okay, so I finished it. I finished it. I'm very torn. <laughs> um, I give it like a three and a half stars for now, mostly because I might go back and either bump it up or down depending on how I digest it. Because on one hand, this seems like it should be a book that I really like. I really like books that don't really sugarcoat anything and can be kind of crude. And I've read a lot of like books similar to this, like I really that I really really enjoyed, like Hotel Iris and stuff like that. So like the erotica kind of part shouldn't really bother me, but this has been the first book of like erotica that I've read and I'm like vaguely uncomfortable and slightly disgusted, but like, I don't know. I'm very torn because also this was just really beautifully written. So for now it's at a three and a half star, but that might go up or down. We'll see, we'll see. Did 
do 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 Help me. So I'm back at school. She doesn't um, pay me enough. We're going to go to Target Child really quick. Labor. But I have picked out the next book that I'm going to read. I'm going to be reading Rainbirds next, and I'm also starting my buddy read with Haley of Sleeping Giants. And I'm probably not going to read it until I go to work, because these boys and I, we're going to Target, and then we're going to watch Idol Producer. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. So. Hell yeah. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? How you doing? Bro. <laughs> okay, that's the end of this. Alright, so I'm walking back from work. It's like 11 o'clock at night, but I did get to read for like an hour at work, which was nice. Um, and I read 60 pages of Rainbirds, which I am loving. It is giving me hella Murakami vibes, which is already amazing, but also the writing is so simplistic, but also like beautiful, and it reminds me a lot of Jamie Chang's. So with those two descriptive factors, you guys gotta know, I really like it. But I'm upset I didn't get to do a little bit more reading, but I just didn't really have time. I actually had to work. <laughs> Pretty good reading today since I finished the book and started a book, but yeah, that should be it for today. Good morning everyone, so today is Tuesday, April 3rd. I just got ready for my day. Um, today is kind of one of my weird days. I have one class, but then I have like an hour break. Oh, I actually have a meeting during that hour and like 45 minute break. And then I have work one to five. So I actually usually read during this class, which sounds really bad, but it's like an hour and 15 minutes and we kind of just sit there and not do much. And I have the Kindle app on my laptop. So I usually read during my class. <laughs> Um, and then I also, today, my boss isn't in at work, which means I have nothing much to do, so I'm also probably going to read. So, today I might get a bunch of reading done, I might get none, it kind of depends, um, but I'm banking on a bunch. So, my plan is to read Sleeping Giants on my laptop until I finish that, and then once I finish that, or get to the page count that me and Haley had set, then I will continue reading Rainbirds. Yeah, that is the current plan, but yeah, I'm just currently eating breakfast and I made some tea and such, so I'm going to eat and drink that and then go to class and then all of that stuff. Alright, so I just got out of work. It is raining, of course, on the one day I don't have my green jacket. At work I read like 85 pages of the Sleeping Giants book. I'm really liking it so far um, and I also got to read like 50 pages of Rainbows so pretty good if you ask me but yeah I'm really enjoying it really enjoying both so hopefully gonna read more when I get back to my house. Good morning everyone so I haven't been in that great at vlogging today but um, I didn't really read yesterday after I updated you guys so I really didn't need to update you um but today i have classes from 11 until 1 and then i should oh and then i have a meeting at 2 but after that i will be coming home doing a little homework and then reading so hopefully i will finish either i, I want to say i want to finish rainbirds but i also don't really know if i want to like speed through that book so i'm definitely gonna read some of rainbirds but i might pick up another book but yes so that's my plan for today it's like 8 th uh, 8, 10 30 right now um so yeah that's my update <laughs> not much all right so i am soaking wet because it is raining out my glasses are all watery but it is currently like 2 40 or so um no one's around because all my friends are still at class and everything so i think i'm going to read until they get back and distract me <laughs> So I'm going to read the next chunk that Haley and I set up for Sleeping Giants and then move on to Rainbirds. I'm going to try to finish something today, I'm not sure if I will because I think we're watching Idol Producer today, but we are supposed to do that yesterday, so I don't really know what's happening. But that is my update. I'm s like, it looks like I'm sweating, but it's just water. Anyways, yeah, I'm going to read. Hello, squirrel. Only friend of college. That's mean. Uh, did you get that on video? Yeah. Good. Yeah, bro. Really, bro? Let's go, bro. I'm, I'm coming, bro. Let's go, bro. 
We gotta go get the mail, bro. Can we get my jacket, bro? <laughs> yeah, probably, bro. Oh, uh, bro, I didn't bring it, bro. You can borrow one of mine, bro. Oh, thanks, bro. I got you, bro. <laughs> I'll take this one, bro. You can have any of the other ones, bro. Oh, thanks, bro. Yeah, no prop, bro. No prop, bro. <laughs> so, my God. <laughs> I've never made a better joke than that one. I'm glad I got that on camera. I can show it to Justin later. <laughs> bro. Bro, is that still recording, bro? Yeah, bro. There's some awful camera angles, bro. <laughs> no. Bro, stop, bro. Just two bros. Going to get the mail. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm done, bro. <laughs> okay, so anyways, we're actually gonna go get my mail, mostly because I have a book that I might read tonight in there. Oh, watch my hair, bro. Um, Did you fix it, bro? It's okay, bro. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone can figure out why we're continually calling each other bro, you win so many points. <laughs> you're, you're, you're a real bro if you know You're a real why, bro. bro. Cool, bro. Swipe, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna do a little impromptu Amazon unboxing because there is a book in one of these. Mm. Oh my god, there's literally one thing in here. Why? Do... Wow, that wasn't even like packaged. This was literally just like in the box. It's my makeup. I use the Body Shop All in One Face Base Double Function Powder. Oh, I got two beauty blenders. Oh, look at that. Mine oh is literally God. like since from high school and I am almost a junior in college now. So I got a new one. And then, so this book, right? Okay, so Graham posted on Goodreads that he like had it marked to read. So I immediately was like, I need this. And so I ordered it and I'm never impulsive with my book buying purchases like I always usually think about it for at least a little bit but this was literally one of those orders that I was like I was already buying something so might as well just add it and that is The Strange Bird by Jeff Vandermeer it's a Bourne story and y'all know I loved Bourne by Jeff Vandermeer it's just a tiny little novella and this is super weird feeling come feel this isn't it weird <laughs> that's it's like yeah it's smooth it's like End of haul. Boom. All right, so it is currently 9-11. Oh, <laughs> it is currently 9-11. Um, we are going to watch Adult Producer episode 11. Woo! <laughs> Help me. Please, no. But, so that means I'm done I've reading for the night. I've been for four years. <laughs> Let me talk about my books. Um, so I'm all done reading for the night. So, I read another chunk of Sleeping Giants with Haley. We're both really, really liking it. I'm not, like, the biggest fan of the format. Like, I feel like everyone always talks about the format of that book. Being like, I love this, holding interviews and stuff and, like, files. I don't really care that much about that. Um, but I am enjoying the story. And I really like how kind of fucked up it is. Like... The thing that happens with the grad student, if anyone remembers this, and the car, and all of that stuff, that was crazy. Excuse me! I am talking about books! Sorry, you should be entertaining, though. We're both really enjoying that. For me, it's probably like a three, four-ish stars. But, oh my gosh, Rainbirds is so good. I'm, like, loving it so far. It is so Murakami-esque. Like, we literally have a teenage girl who's becoming friends with, like, our narrator. Like, it is really, really wind-up birds. Um, Chronicles E. What's his name? Ishida is very, very Toru Okada-like. And Seven Stars, or Ryo, is very, very similar to Mei. And I'm really enjoying this. I'm really just interested to see where it goes. I'm, like, 200 pages in, so I have, like, 120 pages left. So I'll hopefully finish that tomorrow. But yeah, we're gonna watch Out of Producer now, and then tomorrow I have a bunch of time to read because I only have one class. So, we're gonna watch Out of Producer, and it's gonna be great. Um, Huba is my hubba. <coughs> I'm leaving. Bye! <laughs> okay, anyways, yes, yeah, so that is my update for now. We're gonna, we're gonna fangirl over some Out of Producer, so no more reading. Good night! Hello everyone, so it is currently Thursday morning. Um, <clears throat> wow, I haven't talked yet today, so I'm all cracky. The boys and I ended up watching Idol Producer last night, like I said we were going to, so I obviously did not read at all yesterday after that. Um, but today is Thursday, and Thursday is basically my day off. 
I have one class from 10 to 11, so in half an hour, and that is it until 7 o'clock when I have work. So my plan is to go grab some lunch, then come back up, film my Idol Producer discussion for episode 11, and I'm not going to edit it, I'm going to read and finish Rainbirds. Then I can start editing it, do some homework, and then maybe read some more if I have time, depending what time it is. And I also get to read at work because I, I have a night shift so not much happens. So I'm either going, I'm going to try to finish another book. I'm thinking either The Strange Bird by Jeff Vandermeer, which I got yesterday, or On the Fence by Casey West because this is a contemporary and I feel like I can probably just fly through it. Um, it is like, it's like 300 pages or something. It's a little under 300 pages, but I feel like it's a contemporary so I could fly through it. Um, but yeah, that's my plan is to try to finish at least two books today but also this one class that I have at 10 I usually just sit there and read because I have the Kindle app on my laptop and we don't really do that much if I'm honest and I'm good at multitasking so I'm probably going to read the chunk of Sleeping Giants that Haley and I have decided on for today while I'm in class so that is my current plan I'm feeling very left out. The guy in the serving us our food called Justin bro, but he did not call me bro. <laughs> Why am I not a bro, bro? Your eyes are not. Shit. But I was just so I was like, dude, why am I not bro? I'm not cool enough to be a bro. Well, we got food, so it's fine. Okay, so I just filmed my Idol Producer discussion video. Um, I'm not going to edit it right now because I... That takes me forever to edit those videos. So I'm going to actually go and read right now, finish Rainbirds, and then I will start editing and doing homework and stuff. So we're gonna go finish Rainbirds. I'm so excited for this. I am loving this book, and if it stays this good, it's gonna be a five out of five favorite book. Like, it is so reminding me of Murakami. I love it so much. So yeah, I'm going to go finish that right now. Okay, so I just finished Rainbirds and it was so good. I really, really liked it. I am definitely going to be giving it a five out of five stars. I'm just like overwhelmed right now. Like it was so good. I have never had a book feel so similar to Murakami in my life. It was so good. I'm so happy my, like, most anticipated book of the year didn't let me down because the past couple of years I have actually been let down by my most anticipated book. But this one totally lived up to what I was expecting and I'm so happy. This is so good, guys. This is so good. Go pick this up if you haven't already. I'm- I- it was so good. It was so good. My glasses are so glary today. But on a side note, because I forgot to mention this before, I did read like 50 pages of Sleeping Giants because um, that was our chunk for today and we're currently discussing it. I am really enjoying Sleeping Giants. I just, I don't think it's like the best thing ever. Like, I don't think it's like as hyped as everyone seems to think it is. Like, it's good and it's definitely keeping me hooked. It's entertaining. That's the biggest thing it's got going for it. It's, it's very entertaining and really, really fast. Um, to read because it is told in interviews, but like it's not the best thing ever It'll probably be a three three and a half maybe four stars depending on the ending But it has gotten really really good like this chunk today that we read I was like Holy crap things are going insane like this book is a r just really really interesting Especially because like I could low-key kind of see certain things happening in this book like IRL, you know um, But yeah, we're both really enjoying it. Um, I just I forgot to mention that before Good morning everyone, it is currently Friday, April 6th. I didn't get to update you guys last night when I got back from work because my roommate was already asleep so I just went right to bed so I figured I would tell you guys what I read. So while I was at work I started and finished The Strange Bird by Jeff Vandermeer. This wasn't on my TBR but I really wanted to read it right when it came so I did and I ended up really enjoying it. I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars so for a tiny tiny book like this that is pretty good on my in my opinion. Um, so today I'm reading another chunk of Sleeping Giants, obviously, but I also need to pick out another book to read. I'm 
Thinking on the Fence by Casey West because actually Haley and I accidentally had this on our TBR together, even though we're not doing a buddy read or anything, and she just read it and ended up really liking it, which I'm shocked because she doesn't usually like contemporaries, so I might pick this one up. She also said it's really, really fast, like she read it in like three or four hours, so I feel like I could just fly through this one. Today, maybe, I think I might be watching Goblin today because my friends finally watched Goblin, um, and every time they get to the final episode, I watch it with them, so I might be watching Goblin tonight, but I will try to read some of this. I don't know, I feel like Casey West is so hyped up and I feel like she might be a contemporary art author that I might actually like. Plus, I am so in the mood for summer right now, like it is like gonna snow or something today again and it's like April 6th, like we don't need more snow. Yeah, so that's the plan at the moment. I have classes, I actually have classes for a little while today, I have them 10 to 1 and then work from two to five. So we'll kind of see how much reading I actually get done today. It might not be a lot, but we're gonna try. Plus over the weekend, I have plenty of time because I cheated and I started this a day early. So I still have Saturday and Sunday to read. So hopefully I'll get up on track. All right, so hey we, guys, oh, stop. Um, we are currently watching Goblin, the last episode. I always promised that I would watch the last episode with these kids. Just Steve's already seen it, so we already yeah. know what's happening. Um, but Justin, this is his first I'm time watching it. Very worried. They it's, say I'm gonna cry, and they've made bets on when I'm gonna yeah. cry. <laughs> so we'll we'll check back in to see who won this bet. Um, but yeah, this is like my fourth time rewatching this. So. No reading is happening tonight. This is better, more important. Yeah, no, it totally is, I agree. That's what's happening. Bro. What's bro. up, bro? How you doing, bro? You ready to cry, bro? Bro, I'm always ready to cry. Bro, I'm crying right now. <laughs> bro, I'm crying in the club right now. Shit, bro. Don't touch me, I will cry again. Anyways, okay, yeah, we're gonna watch Goblin. Bye! Bye. So Steve and I were both wrong on when Justin would cry. I was closer, though. You were closer. closer. You got one of them. I was closer. I got very specific that you were going to were You were very specific. Steve's Steve was, was very vague, very so, but it was kind of, but it was right. Yeah. But, like, I was more right, because I was more specific. Yeah. How did you enjoy it, though? I liked it. Um, wow, my angles. Uh, Kate, my best angle's right here. Um, I liked it. 10 out of 10, would recommend. Also recommend having tissues ready. Mm -hmm. You will cry. I cried three times the first episode and three times the last episode. So. Yeah, Goblin is, like, my favorite drama. Like, I know it's super, like, obvious and, like, everyone likes Goblin. But, like, if you haven't watched Goblin yet, you have to watch Goblin. And it's, like, what time is it? Ten. It's, like, ten. So. Oh, well, I just, I didn't read a single page of a book today. That's totally fine. Eh, you don't eh. need to. Eh. You have work tomorrow. That's true, that's true. All right. So, I'm gonna end today. Bye. Sure. Bye. Hey. Bye. Stop. <laughs> Hello, everyone, or good afternoon, everyone. Um, it is currently Saturday. I've already read today. I read the chunk of Sleeping Giants that I was supposed to read yesterday, this morning. Um, but currently we're doing some homework. Justinian. Mr. Buckley's doing my homework for me. Yeah. So I'm reading, but not like fun reading. I'm reading textbooks. But yeah. So. I have to do all of this first. It's, like it's not a date. <laughs> Am I even getting myself? Yeah, sadly. Why is this not a date? Because I don't like you. That's right. I love you. Wow. Well, that was your first mistake. <laughs> So I'm now heading into work. Um, it's like 5.30. I work until 11. Um, but I did all of my homework this afternoon. I'm vlogging! Go away! Justin is singing behind me as he's walking home. But yeah, I'm gonna get to read the entire time at work, so heck yeah. Okay, but TBT to the beginning of this vlog when I was like, I'll probably be wearing this shirt the entire week. I know myself. 
I promise I've watched it though. <laughs> but okay, I just got to work. It's like 11. Um, I finished Sleeping Giants. Oh my god, there's a car coming, so I'm gonna put the phone down, but oh my god. <laughs> like I was saying. Sleeping Giants, oh my god, that ending was insane. Haley and I were freaking the fuck out and theorizing about the next book. I'm going into town tomorrow with Justin, and I'm gonna go to the library and get the second book. <laughs> and we're probably gonna start a buddy read, like, right away. So I'm actually really excited for that. I did not expect to like that book as much as I did. So, that was really good. And then I started and almost finished another whole book, which is On the Fence by Casey West. I have, like, maybe 50 pages left. So I think I might go home and just finish that real quick and be just like super like reedy today. Good morning everyone! It is currently Sunday which is the last day of the readathons. Justin stop drinking wine out of a box it is 12.09! <laughs> um, but... <laughs> oh wait it's actually afternoon. Okay, whatever! Um, it is the last day of the readathon. I'm currently being a degenerate and watching Lala's new video, um, because she's like my favorite YouTuber, so I always drop everything when she posts the video. <laughs> so, last night I finished On the Fence by Casey West. I ended up giving it like two and a half-ish stars. It was fine, like it was entertaining, it had me flipping the pages, and it was like literally the fastest read ever. But I also just didn't care about it that much, and it also had that trope of like, oh, I'm different from other girls, I'm a tomboy, I grew up with all boys and like that whole thing and I'm literally like that trope and it still annoys me because I'm like why do we have to put down girls who like makeup and clothes and stuff not my favorite thing I finished that last night so I am doing really really well on my TBR I'm obviously not gonna finish it because I have two more books on my TBR but I'm doing pretty freaking good but today I'm going to watch this video and then we're gonna go into this town um, and do some photo taking. I'm gonna go to the library and get the next book in Sleeping Giants because Haley and I want to buddy read it. Um, maybe start that today. And then I think I'm going to start What I Talked About When I Talked About Running by Haruki Murakami. Um, and that's like under 200 pages, so I might low-key just like finish that today. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, and then I also have to do like a little bit of homework, but I finished most of it yesterday, so. Last day of the readathon, let's finish strong. That's, 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 my, that's my update for now. What kind of bagel did you get from? This is a donut. Um, oh. What kind of donut did you get? Oh. Everything with big cheese. Oh. Steve, what'd you get? Sesame cream cheese. Same. We're burgers. They have the best bagels. Did you want donuts? I did want donuts, but bagels are way better than donuts. Let's get rid of here. We're supposed to get donuts like days ago. <laughs> uh oh well. Take a picture of graffiti. Yeah, I'm showing how cute Amherst Center is. It's artsy, Steve. It's not graffiti, it's artsy. We're leaving the library. I also bought books at the bookstore, so we'll do a mini haul later. We got bubble tea, we got bagels, we got books. We got in cute Instagrams. This Hell was yeah, a good day. A couple day. of Steve. A couple of Steve just ruining our lives. Yep. This has been a pretty good day. Pretty good day, guys. Good and day. now we get to go home and be productive. Who are we gonna be? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Productive time. All right. Woo. Our garage door opening password. <laughs> <laughs> the breakfast one smells really good. <laughs> this one smells. Okay, we're back at Justin's room. I saw a bubble tea. But I'm gonna do a mini book haul for everyone. Woo! Okay, are you guys ready? Are you, do you guys want to hear my book haul? No. Okay, I'm doing <laughs> it for myself. Never mind. <laughs> okay, so I got Waking Gods from the library. This is the second book in the... Whatever this series is called. This is shorter than the first one, though. Which I'm a little bit surprised at. It's only like a little over 300 pages. But we're gonna start reading this today. And then at the bookstore I actually found two books in the clearance section, which never happens. So I got Mana Zuru by Hiroi Kamikami, which I have read both of her other books. Um, the Nakano Thrift Shop and Strange Brother in Tokyo, which this doesn't match it, but I really liked her other two books so I decided to pick this one up. And then I got <laughs> The Uncoupling by Meg Wolitzer, which I have tried Meg Wolitzer in the past and I've disliked everything I've tried by her, but this one I just have higher hopes for, so we got this one. And Justin's over here fucking dying. <laughs> this guy's 
Tinder picture is him. Just, just look at that. Oh. <laughs> it's sexy Danny Phantom. <gasps> it's God. sexy Danny Stop, Phantom. I'm not showing him on this. In a mesh shirt. I'm sexy Danny Phantom. <laughs> oh, Naveen, don't be naked in my vlog. Oh There's God. so much going on look right now. This guy that's sexy Danny Phantom. This is what it's like being in college. If I don't okay. match with him, I'm gonna be really disappointed. Yeah. Yo, Danny Fender, he was just fourteen. I'm vlogging. Really yeah. Naveen, I'm not showing you naked on my vlog. Yeah, I'm vlogging. 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 Yeah, no, I get winded going up the stairs. But yes, I've already started reading this, so I'm gonna continue reading that. But yeah, what, what's the plan for the rest of the day? We're gonna be productive today? Yeah. We're gonna wait for Idol Producer to see if it fucking comes out today. <laughs> Woo! We're gonna um, rewatch the entirety of Goblin. Yeah, we're gonna watch all of Goblin. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, no, I'm gonna continue reading this. I might work on homework, but who knows? I see me. OMG. T O P R, yeah. B O G I E, the Papiani, no, 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 she ain't Lee. Okay. It's Papion. Why don't you want to make a mixtape with me? I have homework to do. You got me feeling like a feeling like a Papillon. Shined it, I shine like a diamond. <laughs> ready, ready, ready. <laughs> That's how you dance as Buffon. <laughs> Like a papillon, like a papillon, you can't No, take off your shirt like Sai Shakun. <laughs> Just throw it. That changed though. <laughs> Steve's over here getting real emo right after getting hyped. <laughs> Stop, no! I need Mr. Buckley right now. I don't know why I'm friends with them either, don't worry. So kids, we're learning today that you look on Goodreads before you purchase a book because I was adding the books that I bought to my Goodreads shelf today and this one has a 2.8 average reading on Goodreads, so I already didn't like Meg Wolitzer, so I'm not thinking this is probably going to be a good one anymore. I'm still going to give it a try, but I have very low expectations now. Crap, I should have looked it up beforehand. This is all my fault, but I'm still upset. <laughs> Hello everyone, it is currently at like 9.15 at night on Sunday. Look who actually read for the all of the time of the readathon. I usually give up at like dinner time on reading but I finished what I talk about when I talk about running by Haruki Murakami I gave it five stars is anyone surprised I'm not surprised I was a little bit like wondering if I would like it because I'm not a fan of memoirs or nonfiction and I don't like running <laughs> um, <laughs> so uh, but no this was fabulous I have so many highlights and it. it's ridiculous um, but yeah so five out of five stars and I'm done with this readathon, um, I will do more of a official wrap up tomorrow. But yeah, no, I'm pretty proud of myself. I read five out of my six books on my TBR. So, and then one that wasn't on my TBR. So I still read six books this week. So I call that a success. So, but yeah, so I am going to turn in for the night and I will cut to me doing a wrap up. Boom! Hello everyone, so it is currently Monday morning and the readathon has ended, so I'm going to just wrap up everything that I read this week and tell you 
what star rating I gave it, what challenge it was completing, and how many pages I read. So the first book I have I don't have anymore because I left it at home because I read it while I was at home and that is Call Me By Your Name by Asi Andre Asiman and this was 238 pages and I give it a three and a half out of five stars and this was completing I'm gonna rearrange the challenges slightly because I did read a book that wasn't on my list and missed a book so I'm gonna count this one as this is a hyped and wrecked book to me because it definitely was <laughs> the next book I completed was definitely my favorite that I have read this week probably this month and that is Rainbirds by Clarissa Gowenawan I read this for a beautiful cover obviously this is gorgeous and I gave this a five out of five stars and it is a new favorite book so I mean yes then the next book I read was the one that was not on my TBR but I mean it still made me read six books this week and that is The Strange Bird by Jeff Vandermeer and I'm counting this as the most recently acquired book that I got because I got this during the readathon and this is only 109 pages. Oh and I gave this four out of five stars. And then I finished reading Sleeping Giants on my Kindle, which I did a buddy read with Haley for, and this was a book that I was excited to read, and I ended up giving this a 4.25 out of 5 stars, and this is 320 pages long. And then I finished On the Fence by Casey West, which completed the favorite color on the cover because it has yellow all over the book and yellow is my one of my favorite colors um this was only 298 pages and i gave this a two and a half out of five stars and then the last book that i finished on the last day of the readathon was what i talk about when i talk about running by hiroko murakami and this was completing the challenge of a book i have been meaning to read i've been meaning to read this for ages i'm so glad i did i gave it a five out of five star i have so many highlights all throughout this book it's like a little bit ridiculous um i will probably be doing a full review for this book because it's obviously a murakami book and i review all murakami books so you guys are going to be expecting that <laughs> and this was 188 pages but yes those are all of the books that i read for the week of the first week of april the Aprilathon. i think i did a pretty good job i'm pretty pretty proud of this especially because I have one more book so I read six books in this first week technically seven because I finished reading a book for class that was a textbook but I'm not like counting that towards the readathon but it counts towards my goodreads goals so but yes I am pretty proud of my completion of these books and obviously if you guys want to hear more about those um definitely stick around for my wrap up at the end of the month I will be going into way more detail about my actual feelings on each of those books but anyways I hope you guys all enjoyed this vlog I'm sorry if it got a little bit long but I hope you guys don't mind um and anyways I love you all and I'll see y'all soon bye